Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we will be making barbecue ribs. And for this recipe, you will need some baby back ribs, your favorite barbecue sauce. I have a sweet baby rays here, some spicy brown mustard, uh, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, chili powder, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, cinnamon, cumin, and a crock pot. Once you've washed and dry padded your ribs, we need to remove this silver membrane on the inside of the ribs. So basically what you do is you run your finger underneath that membrane and you pull upwards and you should be able to get a hold of it. And once you do, you use a paper towel and just rip across. So there's about half of it. I need the other half. So you're just gonna stick your fin finger in one more time underneath that membrane and it comes off relatively easy. Pull one side off, and there goes the other side. Great. Next up, we're ready to assemble our dry ribs. So I have some cumin powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, chili powder, some pepper, and some salt. So you wanna mix all that together. It's about half a teaspoon of each ingredient, a little bit less salt. And once we've mixed up our ingredients here, we're just going to add um, our dry rub to our rack of ribs here and I cut the rack of ribs just so it's easier to work with and we're just going to slowly like rub this in on both sides of our ribs so this is the front and I'm going to flip these over in a minute and we're going to get the other side okay so once our dry rub has been applied to our ribs I have about three tablespoons of brown sugar and this is going to give our ribs a nice sweet flavor to them um, but it's not overpowering so you just want to pat this in just like we did with our dryer up to both sides I'm gonna flip these over and do the same thing so here I have about three tablespoons of spicy brown mustard and about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce so you're just gonna mix all that up and this is gonna add another layer of flavor so you want to add this to the inside of your ribs and then the outside as well so once I'm done applying this, I'm just gonna rub them in the same way we did with our, our dry rub. And don't be scared to get in there, just make sure you get all of it in there, just rub it in. And you're gonna flip them over and do the same thing. So our ribs are ready to be added to our crock pot. We're gonna cook this on high for about three and a half hours. And you don't need to add any additional fluid here. Um, any chicken stock or beef stock. Think of the crock pot as a sauna for the meat. It's going to release all of the fat and liquids. As you can see, this is what we have after three hours. And you, you could see that's all the fat and liquid that was in the meat. So you don't need to add anything. And these are super tender. And we're going to take these out and we're going to get ready to add them to our broiler. So we're ready to add our sauce to our ribs. I have a quarter of a cup of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, and I've added about two teaspoons of hot sauce. And the hot sauce is used to dilute the sweetness of our barbecue sauce, as we also added um, quite a bit of brown sugar in the beginning. And I don't like an overpowering sweet um, flavor profile on my ribs. So it's optional if you wanna add the hot sauce or not. And we're just gonna cover both sides um, as well as the, the bone side as well. So along the side there. And you just wanna make sure you have a nice even, even um, glaze. And then we're ready to add to the broiler for about five minutes until our sauce is thickened up and we have a nice caramelized effect. So yeah, as you can see, my broiler is on high. You wanna watch it because every oven is different. So I needed five minutes, but if your oven's a bit hotter it might not need the full five minutes so just keep an eye on it and this is our final product these are super tender um, very flavorful and yeah just give the recipe a try it's super easy and i'll see you in the next one